this video will show you how to take off and reinstall the front wheel on your bike. So although it's a pretty basic skill, it's a pretty useful one uh, because it allows you to make your bike smaller um, and it would be helpful if you wanted to put your bike in the trunk of your car. So the procedure varies a little bit from bike to bike, but basically there's two different steps you need to know how to do. Uh, the first one is you need to know how to uh, disconnect your brakes or at least loosen them off enough um, so that your brake pads um, are going to clear your, your tire uh, when you take the wheel off. And the second step you need to know how to do is how to disconnect the actual wheel uh, from the frame. So I'm going to show you how to do those two steps on the most common styles of brakes and axles um, on various different bikes. So this bike has what's called V-brakes and uh, you can see they have a cable that runs right across the top. Um, they're quite easy to disconnect. Uh, there's basically just two things you have to do. You take your, your one hand and you just push the two brake calipers together like that. And then with your other hand, um, what you have to do is you have to separate this piece of metal from this piece of metal here. So there's this little slot that goes through right there, uh, which is where your cable can, can pull through. And all you have to do is just lift this piece up while holding this piece down and it should come right out like that. And then with the other hand you can just uh, release. And now with them spread apart there's lots of space in there for your tire to squeeze through. The process for reconnecting V-brakes again is very much the same. You just use one hand to pull the two brake calipers together and then use your other hand to slide um, this cable here that's uh, behind this rubber boot uh, through the little slot in the top of this metal piece here, like so, and then just release it and it should hold like that. So this road bike here has a different style of brakes, and uh, the style of brakes looks like that. And this style of brakes is even easier than V-brakes to disconnect. Um, all you've got is got this little um, handle right here, we just have to flick up in the upward position, and what it does is it just spaces everything out a little bit further, and it gives you enough space for your tire to squeeze through. Um, on a road bike, the tire really doesn't stick that far out from the rim, um, so it really just needs like a few millimeters um, for the brake pads to move out for the wheel to be removed from the bike. This one here is a much older style of road bike, and the brakes look quite a bit different, uh, but much the same. It's very easy to disconnect. Um, it just has this one little handle here, which all you have to do is just pull it in the upright position, and again, the pads just move out, open a little bit because it really only needs it a little bit uh, to be able to clear uh, this the bulge from this tire. But if you got a bike like this, which has a disc brake on the front, then uh, you don't have to do anything to the uh, the brakes um, because that brake will just pull right out of there. Um, the cross section of this uh, rotor is pretty much constant, so that rotor will just pull straight out. You don't have to do anything to the disc brake. Um, but once you've got it off, I've been told that it's very important to make sure that you don't press on the handle um, of the disc brake because what happens is the brake pads go in and uh, then they go too far because there's nothing for them to press up against and then it gets all uncalibrated and everything and then it's a real challenge to get it back to the way it's supposed to be. Um, I've never done it myself but that's what I've been told so just be careful of that when you take your front wheel off. So now that we've covered how to disconnect the brakes on lots of different common styles of brakes uh, then we'll move forward with the tutorial which is disconnecting the wheel itself. So this bike has here what's called a quick release. This metal handle here um, allows the wheel to be disconnected without the use of a wrench. So if you've got a bike with a quick release then removing the front wheel is extremely easy. So you start by pulling this handle away from the frame and sometimes it might be a little bit tight so you might have to push fairly hard to get it loose. Uh, but once you get it started, it should come pretty easily. Uh, so now this thing's nice and loose, uh, but we want to loosen this off a little bit further so it'll be able to clear um, the ends of the uh, the forks here. So what you do is you take your other hand over here and grip this uh, the nut on the other end of this, and then we just spin this in the uh, counterclockwise direction uh, to loosen it off, and then it should be nice and loose like that. You don't have to take it all the way off, but just loosen it off quite a bit. And when it comes time to put your quick release back on, all you have to do is reverse the process. Um, so again, you hold the nut with your um, other hand and then you rotate this thing around until it starts to get tight. And uh, once it gets tight, uh, you want to make sure you line up this handle here so that when you push it, um, it's going to be in line with the frame. Uh, but when I just did that, I could feel that it wasn't that tight. So I want to then hold this in place and then 
tighten on the other side. So rotate this one in the clockwise direction like so. And now I'll push it again and it's much harder to push on. And I'm pretty uh, confident that's not gonna come undone. The reason that you wanna put your quick release in line with your frame as opposed to how it is now um, it's just in case that this quick release happens to get caught on anything. Um, with it exposed like this, you know, when it was parked or something, you know, something could get wrapped around it or something and cause it to go like this. Um, and then you might start biking with this wheel being, you know, really loose there. And that really wouldn't be very good because you, you might lose your wheel while you're riding, which would be very unsafe. And now with the brakes released and the quick release undone, you should very easily just be able to pick up the front of the bike and the wheel should just come right off like that. But if you've got a bike like this, which does not have a quick release on the front wheel, well then, the procedure is a little bit different. It's not necessarily more challenging, uh, but it does mean that you need to have a wrench with you. So to do the job, all you have to do is just loosen off that nut there on the end, as well as the nut on the other side, which corresponds to it. So the most common size for these nuts is 15 millimeters. So when I do the job, I usually use a 15 millimeter um, socket. Uh, but you can also use a wrench or some sort of an adjustable wrench. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to use my adjustable wrench uh, to demonstrate how to take off this nut. Um, so all you got to do is just put your wrench onto the nut and then use this little wheel on the side uh, to tighten the sides up so that uh, it goes onto the wrench snugly so you're not going to round off the corners on your nut there like that. Um, so you just put it on and you need to push down on it or in other words, rotate counterclockwise to loosen it off. It might be a little bit tight at first. Um, hopefully it should be a little bit tight because uh, you don't want your wheel nuts to be loose. Uh, but once you got it started, you can just loosen it with your fingers. Um, and you don't need to take this nut all the way off. Just rotate it so it's kind of near the end of the threads like it is like that. And then you just do the same over here on the other side. So you put your wrench on and then just pull up on it and loosen her off. So just like the one with the quick release, we've got the wheel so it's ready to come off and the brakes so they're disconnected. And then just like the other bike, all you've got to do is lift up the front of the bike and that wheel should come right off. So that concludes my tutorial showing how to disconnect the front wheels on bicycles. I hope you found the video helpful. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. And thanks for watching.